All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to another week in Hawkeye Pro Wrestling. We are in week three of November, which means this is the final week uh, before the go home week to Hawkeye Pro's Revolution pay per view. We do have uh, at least a couple of matches set up for that. Uh, we do have Alex Reynolds versus Naruki Doi in Doi's first match. Uh, pay-per-view match at least uh, set up as well as the main event of uh, Shane Hollister versus Akira Tozawa for the Hawkeye Pro Heavyweight Championship main eventing that uh, not too much else to not too much else to really go over other than just uh, also a quick reminder as well in uh, three weeks uh, in week two of December uh, is a new infamous, the Doi Darts Holiday Special. Uh, it'll be uh, kind of uh, uh, a bunch of uh, wacky bits going on there, uh, hosted by Naruki Doi and Akira Tozawa. It'll feature uh, the Doi Darts game, which will basically give me a nice little randomizer. As, uh, infused with different matches will also be a randomizer to help predict uh, well, not predict, but uh, randomly choose uh, potential challengers for a next infamous in January uh, for some random uh, title matches. People who might not normally get opportunities could potentially get opportunities at championships then. Uh, but we can move over to the actual screen here and uh, get ready. I don't know if I picked up... I dealt with the Tommaso Ciampa thing. Uh, I did put him on ignition because i that's where I want him to get some... Uh, he needs a little bit of a popularity boost and to kind of keep his skills sharp. That, and I'm not going to need him too many times, so I might as well put him in there. There is one other person I would like to... Uh, pick up and I might wait until after I'm done with the shows I want to make it as much of a surprise as possible is the main thing <laughs> because I had a I had a bit that I wanted to do uh, that I'm gonna do part of uh, on Wednesday show and then the other part of probably next week. So I'm assuming I could probably just pick him up within a week, so. I don't know why, because it looks like Olympico as in the Olympics, but someone seems to have spelled Olympico wrong. I was like, look at this. I'm like, this is wrong. And then I look and I see, I mean, well, it still said like it was, uh-oh. Stuff has happened. Toriano, Bruce Cock. I think that already happened once with him. Yamato's recovered from his stuff. Okamura. Didn't he take, didn't he injure someone? Didn't he like physically take somebody out? Yeah, that's right. He like, <laughs> I think he, I think he took brother Yashi out. Like he, like he, uh, retired, like he kind of retired him if I remember right. I can't remember. Compound maxillary fracture. I thought that was the thing where he's probably going to be retiring. <laughs> I don't know. He's also not working for Dragon Gate anymore, so maybe I could get... <laughs> oh my god, the idea of bringing in Brother Yashi. Uh, that means as much of anything. Jesse. Oh my god, Jesse got re-signed. Look at HWF show. What did they do? Shit. They did shit. <laughs> Austin Aries defeating Phil Shatter. Idol Stevens defeated Carlito. Loki and Scott Parker. Oh, Loki defeated Scott Parker and MVP defeated Chris Sabin in what seemed to be match of the night. And then there was some 
uh, pre-show stuff and more pre-show stuff. Who the fuck is Riot Act in the radio? Which one of these four? I don't even know if I care. <laughs> I mean, I could try. Here's the thing about here's the thing about Yamato, is I'd like to, but he's loyal to Dragon Gate, so he's not gonna leave. I believe it's the same for Yoshino. Okay, Yoshino's not, but I'm pretty sure he's got a long contract to him. I'm not sure. So yeah, there's a few guys I would like to have, but because of their loyalties to certain things, eh. <clears throat> oh the timing on playing that song well I mean it's not like that good of timing but still any guys loyal to you probably not um, I don't know how to check that other than maybe my relationships Oh, wow. I got a lot of things I didn't realize I had. Strong friendship with Dario Cueto, a strong dislike of Chael Sonnen, simmering tension with Yoshirai, strong dislike of Jimmy Havoc. I guess Shawn Michaels has loyalty to me? Why? Why is, of all people, out of all people, Shawn Michaels is loyal to me, and then I dislike Barry Griffiths. Okay. <laughs> I guess I've developed several relationships across the way. I mean, with some of these guys like Havoc and Sonnen, I guess it's probably they don't like me then. Because I don't harbor any hard feelings with them. <laughs> I'm, I like how I have a strong friendship with Dario Cueto because I don't remember using him that long. And I don't know why I have simmering tension with Io Shirai. I don't understand. I mean, I figured that's why they fired. You know, when I fired them, they, they had that simmering tension relationship with me. I don't know. I don't, or, uh, or the strong dislike. But yeah. <laughs> I got tension, just not the kind I wish. Yeah. Speaking of EO, I hope she stays in NXT forever. Just doesn't come up to the main roster. That uh, would be nice if she just went, <laughs> just stayed down there where everything's all hunky dory and, uh, you know, it sh I, I, I guess this is, guess this is what we're going to do. Maui War Memorial. What in the. I mean, it holds twenty nine. Uh, how many? Uh, how many big places do they have? I don't know. For some reason, that concert hall seems to have a little bit of a reputation to it. I'm kind of wondering about that. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I didn't pause during Casanina Ray. Ah, yeah, well. Can stay for everyone have one of you. <laughs> All right. So I also got to remember, I'm not just I'm at this point. I'm just a few weeks away from doy darts, so I need to make sure I'm not just building towards Revolution, but that show as well, because I got a few matches on there. The upside is I kind of spread it out pretty pretty well because it looks like probably about three of those matches uh, will be taking place on from breakout, so that helps. Doi Dart's intergender match. I mean, it, I, I never thought about it, but it could happen. I did have, I I did have a bit of an idea for something later on down the line that I think I'm pretty much like sold on doing. I just got to it we just got to get to that point. 
<clears throat> uh, let me see here. Okay, so I did that. I did the Prince Devitt thing. So I got to keep doing the Devitt thing. I got to keep doing the Nakamura thing. Yeah. Let me see here. Sammy and Kingston. Okay, so I know... The interesting thing here is I always tend to know my angles. It's just the matches around it. I just realized I don't think I changed Juice's. Uh, did I? Did I change his? Uh, what's his move set look like? Yeah. See, it doesn't even. It probably won't. It probably isn't even in there. So we'll just. He doesn't even. Juice doesn't even get one. Jesus, maybe he didn't have one when this was put in here. Uh, yeah, it's impact, cheating level none. It can cause blood. I mean, I guess in the right circumstances, I would say no. In in you know, difference than I don't know. Done onto a chair, sure. Done through a table, I think that'd be awesome to see. Uh, I've seen a kill switch off the ladder, so yeah. It's not a martinet because it drops them. They do more a face bump than just get bumped on their head. And you can do it to pretty much anybody. There we go. Oh, uh, it can't be blank. There you go. God damn it. There. <laughs> Give a juice a finish called Balls Deep in Japanese Women. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, let me see here. Da, 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 da. So we dealt with that. All right. Um... I did something with Shane Hollister last week. He should probably be in a match at some point. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Also, I got to make sure to do Kenny Jericho dealing with that stuff. Shane was there. Doi attacked Shane. So Shane could probably be in a match. Let's see. G1 time. Let me... Refresh my New Japan world and get that settled in. I don't. I don't know why I don't, can't hear like shit. Oh, good. Starting perfectly. Uh, okay. Oh, God. There it is. Hang on. Sorry for anyone who watches this on YouTube. I'm gonna turn that down just a touch. Oh god, I just realized how many things I have open on. I'm really surprised to see Togi Makabe still, still doing his thing. He can't have many of those left in him. A lower card title. <laughs> I don't know if I, I... I already have like an... I feel like I have enough time. I feel like I would go... Like if I, if I... If I put too many titles in, I feel like I'd turn out... Almost like New Japan's doing with some of their belts. Like, did you know... I'm sure people who watch know. Did you know that New Japan has a six-man title? It is uh, interesting to think about. <laughs> New Japan has a six-man title. You would never know. <laughs> Most of the time, you'd hardly even know that New Japan even has a never singles title. Dude, by the way, this song is fucking dope. I immediately looked up this song and have it like on my like on a playlist. Oh, 
I hope I, I I just realized now that it's playing in the background of this as well as that. So I feel like it might not be the smartest of ideas because I believe that they're also being. Um, I might just I might just mute it for a second just because I realized that the uh, the <laughs> the background music I believe is like a Sony Japan thing, and they will like mute that shit immediately. So I'll just wait for them to get through like all twenty of these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, Young Bucks and Marty. <laughs> Uh, who the hell should, whoops, that was the wrong way to do things. There we go. I feel like Doi would be the best chance. Um, uh, let me see here. Tomatonga, uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, I'm trying to. I kind of want to do toy, but I feel like that wouldn't work. Kenny. Kenny could kind of work. When was the last time these two faced each other? Whoops! I did Shinsuke. That's a match I don't want to give away immediately. Let's not do Shinsuke Kenny Omega. Oh, right. Now I remember. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Cool. Let's get it started here in Hokkaido. <laughs> I, now I remember. <laughs> uh, ba 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 ba. Need to get the title off Shane. No, we don't need to get the title off Shane. You know what? I got a I got a tag match in mind then. I think this could work. Let's do what the fuck is this? Is this fucking pre-match? Shut it. I, I forget about that, dude. Jesus. Let's see. Shane Hollister. Katsuri Shibata. Toa Hinare. Oh, my God. I was like, is that Toa Hinare? Because I haven't hardly seen him around. Uh, okay, let's see. Hollister and Shibata. So that could allow me to use... Let's take that out of there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We could have Kenny Omega on one side to deal with that, and then... Uh, someone to team with Omega. We could take one of the Young Bucks, but they're doing the... They're doing the... Uh, time splitters thing. So, damn. Okay, let's take out these guys. Let's not go like too high or too low. So like, da, 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 da. spot us up to one. Someone on Reddit told me to kill myself. Jesus. <laughs> For subscribe, it's like, hey man, I'm physically helping out, you know, Dave Meltzer do his thing. Yeah, fuck yourself, Meltzer sucks. <laughs> like Jesus, man, I don't, I don't understand why. It has to be that way. You know what? I bet you we could do. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do Omega and Doi. That might be, that might be interesting. <clears throat> there we go. I could do that. I could make that work. Give these guys like 21 minutes, they'll probably tear the fucking place down. In fact, give it fully. If I turn this down a little bit. I wonder if they'll have, like, Toa Hanare, like, immediately just be like, yo, man, firing squad. Let's do... Oh, man. Annabelle, thanks to our referee, Kenta Sato, calling for it. We're underway. 
I'm trying to think who I want to win this going into... Because we've still got at least another week of this. I'm kind of, I kind of feel, I kind of feel for the uh, the people who who do this on a on a regular basis, like who who write wrestling. I don't have a team with me. I got just a just a small handful of assholes who throw shit at the walls like I do. Uh, you know what? Let's give it to Shane. Shane could Shane could use it. Shane could she could use a little bit of that. Um, these four guys could probably call it in the ring. I see eighty. I see eighty-four. I see eighty-six. And I see eighty-one. All right. Good. This could be the storytelling one too. Put that there. Call it in the ring. Slow build it. And uh, decisive win that. Actually, we'll do a decisive win on. We'll do a decisive win on him, but there is. Let's see, botched interference on Doi by Tozawa. No, not there, Tozawa. There we go. All right. Um, da, 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 da. you know, this is one of the downsides to me putting like five of my tag teams just sort of, just sort of out there, like, uh, doing their own thing away from away from the ring. Is now I have to kind of decide other things to do with some of my other tags. Uh, but I actually do have an idea. If I can get him, we can put Gargano in the ring. Let's give him someone lower tier he could potentially face. Um, let's see here. Let's see, Gargano and... Uh, let's do... I'm thinking La Sombra, because he could probably... He could probably use a little bit of it. I'm thinking that could be actually a pretty good match if these two faced each other. I just realized in my head, like, oh, I'm booking Gargano and Almas. And I, like, it took me way too long to realize what I was just booking as well. Can't wait for this to be like a, a 70. It's just like a C-plus match. And just people be like, motherfucker. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> yeah, we're going to give this to... Um, uh, I have an idea because it kind of revolves... You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give it to La Sombra. And uh, we'll open match it and decisive win it. We won't. How hard could they go? 82 Stam. 85 Stam. They could also call it in the ring. So we're going to have them go. We're going to have them call it in the ring and go all out. And we're going to have that go, let's say, 15. 15 seems to be a nice little sweet spot for that. He's extremely unhappy, probably because he's light years ahead of him. Okay. Uh, yeah, take the fall. I'll I'll pay him I'll pay him some shut the fuck up and be happy money later. It'll be fine. Reversal on the whip. Went for that super punch. Missed. Big flying shoulder tackle. Eh, even if Don Callis isn't here, at least they got Rocky Romero. Could have been worse. Forty. So we got forty minutes in. Let me see what we got going on with some of the matches I plan on doing. Okay. Uh. 
Actually, I'm going to, yeah. Oh, you know what? We need to have, oh, God. Who who could be a local guy in Hawaii? Oh, my God, Aki Bono. Okay, that might be, uh, uh, okay. So there's a few guys because we need to potentially bring somebody in to uh, to, to do this this uh, uh, match because I did it last week and I want to do it again this week. So let's see who's uh, non- Oh, fucking Chris Harris. I want to book Chris Harris just for the sake of booking Chris Harris in fucking 2018. And he'd probably be pretty good for... Jarrell Clark would probably actually actually do... Wow, actually Jarrell Clark might do quite well putting on a decent match. Isn't Nate... Yeah, Nate Webb was... Nah, let's see. Taylor, Vic Adams. I mean, Chris Harris would be fun, but I think I'm going to do Jarrell Clark just for the idea of uh, just for the idea of, of this because I, I think it'll be he doesn't have much of a name, does he? I want to see I want to see where his popularity sits. Jesus Christ. Chris Harris can't be much better. Nah, some people kind of know about Chris Harris. <laughs> there we go. Let's do it. He already he already got put in a position. No, he doesn't. Um, ba -ba 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 needs a position. Let's just do. Uh, he's probably just enhancement talent. Right. I need to do a little something as well. <laughs> so this is going to get really, really stupid really, really quickly. <laughs> All right. So we need that as well. Just don't worry about it. All right. There's Prince Devitt. Whoops. There's Jarrell Clark. All right. Uh, hybrid rules. There we go. I keep changing the name of this. <laughs> I like how much I'm, I like how much Tangaloa cares by just wearing black shorts out there. Like all he has to do is just kind of like throw on a t-shirt and he's good. Eh, it's probably all right. Uh, yesterday, Marine Day, was that? Oh, it's today. Oh, was that today? Create a match. I could create a match. That might be an idea. But I'll do just a regular. I'll just do a regular set of rules now, and I'll think about it you know, later at this point. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Twelve minutes. I think that seems to be kind of the sweet spot with some of this. I'd like to I'd like to turn this down just a hair. Uh, Prince Devitt, and then we will give this to yeah decisive win, and let's do. Are we gonna keep doing submission? You know what we've done submission finishes, so we'll do a stoppage finish this time. We'll do we'll do that because we've been we've been doing uh, submission finishes to kind of help get that over, but I'd like to try to do stoppage stuff as well. All right, I kind of want to get a buffer in between those two matches. Uh, let me see here. I think what we need. Uh, I have like I know where I need to go. I just need to remember, like, how I, I want to get there. So, you know what? Let's have... You know what? It'd be, it would you know, be kind of fun. I'm going to put this out there. I'm going to put Tama Tonga out there. And the idea of Tama Tonga deciding, you know what? I'm going to put the television title on the line. And I'm gonna try to figure out it could you know it should be Lady Beard, honestly. 
I would kind of I would kind of like to see if I could. It, it, he's actually getting kind of well over <laughs> in some places. So the idea that he starts putting out like challenges again, and then fucking Ladybeard comes out. <laughs> Don't give him a carry job. <laughs> Hey, Matthew, what's up? Uh, how long should this go? 81 psych, 96. You know what? I should I should make it a thing. I should honestly make it a thing where he actually kind of starts... He, like the Eugene Kurt Angle thing where he actually kind of puts up a bit of a fight. <laughs> Maybe I should do it with someone slightly less less like Lady Beard E, maybe like a Dalton Castle. But I feel like Lady Beard's considered the joke of of the promotion, so it'd make much more sense if we used him. Cody Hall. Ah, ah, but that's the thing. Cody Hall would be good for that, but Cody Hall's physically imposing. Motherfucker's like almost seven feet tall. He's a big dude. It wouldn't make sense. Colby. Yeah, but I don't think, like, there's, I, I think having him doing something not, uh, oh, I would love to see if Sirius Yano is going to be something that actually, it's not going to happen. Finally been able to make a stream. Well, I'm 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 happy to know that. I forget the old dude that's with him. Yeah, Tomatonga clearly gonna do this. Jado, oh my god. See, I don't ever see Giotto enough to know because he's he's hardly I don't maybe it's because I don't hardly see undercard stuff or he's always in like six and eight man tag stuff that I always tend to forget him. I was thinking it was Giotto because I'm like, OK, he looks fucking old and he's not Izuka. It has to be Giotto. <laughs> let's see here. Tamatonga. Let's do. <laughs> should I make this an open match? Oh my god. This should be uh, interesting. Decisive win. I'm going to go all out. So we're going to make this. We're going to jump this down to like 14. So they don't have to go too hard. But they have the stamina for it. So maybe I should try to have them go hard for, for 15 as well. I'm telling you, it's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Yano is giving the people what they want, and that's Giotto. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there. I can't wait for that to be like an 80 for some reason. Last stream you're out was after dark. Oh, that was a, oh, yeah, that was a little while ago. Yeah, if y'all want to watch it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Gargano La Sombra. Okay, so actually I could work it over the course of the night if this happens. So Kenny Omega, La Sombra, and of course Chris Jericho. There we go. Here we go. Uh, Omega post match beats uh, Sombra demands Naito Jericho out to say Naito. Uh, am I gonna do a thing with Naito being? Yeah, you know what? All right. Uh, 
be at Revolution. I don't know how much room I have. Not enough. Hey, Jack. Let's see. Montreal Aftermath save is... <laughs> so Bret Hart leaves the Montreal Aftermath... And now there's Shawn Michaels to potentially get. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'd say this puts him over a little bit. This is going to give him a minor defeat because we're going to – it'll be uh, something here. So we'll have that. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, uh, Prince Devitt. I have to think to myself what what it was I wanted to do. So Prince Devitt, Bob Sapp. I hope this is. By the way, I hope this is giving getting Bob Sapp over. It is. It's very much getting Bob Sapp over like a million bucks. I like this. We're gonna continue to power level him. It's gonna be great. <laughs> we need to get Bob Sapp over like a monster. Uh, okay. Devitt out for exhibition. Uh, I, I think I spelled that right. Talks up the, uh, teachings of Sap. Oops. And brings out his next opponent. Here we go. Ba -ba -ba. Let's do four minutes. Let's do four minutes. The Iron Sheep and my commentary, Jesus. Uh, okay. I bet he's going to tap just immediately. Come on. <laughs> Uh, so Prince Devitt and uh, Prince Devitt, Bob Sapp, and who the fuck? Oh yeah, we need to we need to do the Davy thing too. Wait, where is Davy? There's Davy. All right, so he'll sell his match. Nah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, he'll do. It. How about he does entertainment, and then he'll do his menace because he'll be standing there menacingly. And Davy Richards is not a promo guy. Uh, ah, fuck it. Why not? Oh, Toriano, technical master. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, minor successes on these. Here we go. Davy out again. Calls out Devitt for his faux MMA challenges to a match. Devitt. Uh, waves him, waves him away. <clears throat> there we go. And we'll put that there. What? <laughs> Of course. That was some fine amateur wrestling. Of course. What happened? Kick the leg. Let's see. Kick the ankle, took him down. Tama. Let's do entertainment. Tama out to tell people he heard their uh heard their voices. And found someone to put his title up 
against. Hey, hey, come on now. <clears throat> I'd say decent success, maybe. <laughs> Taka tap. I had, I don't know if I saw Taka tapping when as he also got pinned. I need a gimmick referee that says they don't, if they don't breathe they fight. Which one of my referees could be that? Let's see. Who's who's being pushed as a ref right now? It's Hebner, King, Kyoto, and Slick Johnson. It feels like a Slick Johnson thing. I feel like Kyoto Kyoto's like the big John McCarthy. Could be Hebner, but I feel like Slick Johnson would be the be the if he breathes he fights. That's not what he said as he sat at my table at another restaurant. So you had dinner. Um okay. I'm trying to see. Actually, I also want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this as well. Actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the loser being Kenny Omega. So Shane's gonna pin Omega and distraction on Omega by La Sombra. That should help. I feel like that that will help actually move. Uh, the way I want to kind of do some things. New flock is Benoit Psychosis Ghetto Daniels Suicide Blondes. Interesting. Uh, let me see here. I feel like I need to do something before Omega Doi. Uh, you know what? Let's have Naruki Doi out there. The Kira Tozawa. There we go. And let's put Kenny out there. Why not? Actually, this this should this could be good. Cleaner's closet with Tozawa. Tozawa and Doi. They insult I'm for that one. Shane, Shibata, and Los. Why not? <laughs> By the way, Juice Robinson's theme is fucking fire. It's great. Earlier in the day on the 19th, Such a great theme. It's also really weird to see F David Finley teaming with him again after stuff that already happened. So let's do like seven minutes on this. Of course, usually when it actually happens, I'll, I'll be a little bit more specific about it. Finley looks like Homeless Ziggler. I was trying to put a name to, to what... To, to to how he looks and that is that is a great way of putting it. He looks like homeless Ziggler. Your pack stage is like a twenty. Jesus. Gender juice is gender pender kind He just ex he really you know, he really does have the pirate hat for it. Other than that, eh, you know. This is gonna be a fun tag team match. Finn juice. I mean, I understand. It's just like I figured they weren't gonna tag too much with the whole thing and the and the and the feud and the. I know. Did he challenge? I thought he maybe it wasn't Juice. It was Jay White. Wasn't that what it was? Am I was I confusing Juice for Jay White because Juice won the title? I think that's what I was confusing it because uh, yeah, Finley did challenge Jay for the title. I think I was like super de duper confused. Go me. Oh, okay. Shane, I, I'm trying to see how I want to do this here. Let's do. Okay. 
because there's a lot of little things that can happen right here with Hollister, Shibata, Omega, Doi. Is Lesnar on his vacation for you too? I mean, he's not on vacation, but I kind of I don't use him that much, so he kind of is. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to put like in in uh in words what I want to have happen. That's the that's the issue I have. So let's do So Akira Tozawa is gonna be out there with Naruki Doi. Shane's gonna be out there. And you know what? I think I might leave it at that right now. Um, let's do, you know what? Let's do Kenny Omega as well. Selling. There we go. Okay. So low, low, low. There. Okay. Uh, Tozawa and Doi attempt to attack Shane. Manages to uh, slip away. But I'm trying to think about what I want to do because I don't think he should attack them and, you know, physically do better than them. So he should slip away, but I don't know if I want to do a, a high risk. We could do that. Well, let's do medium. That wasn't bad. That was eats a one wing angel on the floor so that's probably a right about there so uh, I guess minor success is here uh, neutral I get well I guess it's a minor defeat and this is a slightly bigger success for that there we go and then the final bit we will have at the end of the night there we'll have Kenny and I mean he can do angles he's also hurt so I feel like with his actual injury I probably shouldn't have him doing anything physical yeah considering he has a stress fracture uh Hmm. Imagine being that <laughs> that good, you could throw that away. What was that? Kobashi vs. HGM for ATV. Main event was Dr. Death over my Bret Hart on loan. Jesus. Just, you know, casually putting Dr. Death versus Bret Hart on TV. And Misawa and Kobashi vs. HGM. Jesus. Um... All right, maybe I'll keep Naito from being out of it right now. That that'll be fine. I could work on something else potentially then. So okay, so there is one. All right, so let me do the other bits before I think about anything that might come after that. I'm at least gonna do this. So uh, we need to do. Let's see, Alex Shelley and Kushida. And then we'll keep doing uh, Matt and Nick Jackson because they both kind of could could use it. Uh, Lady Beard, oh that's right, Lady Beard's involved in the thing too. So I don't know if that would. You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it special. I'm gonna have it be Dalton Castle. Lady Beard's doing his own thing tonight, and he's not involved. Uh, I don't think I have. Uh, Receipt of Ice is involved as well, so Beretta will also be there as well, um, because Gargano's wrestling, 
So did I did I accidentally do anybody else? No. Okay. Cool. So Hiromu, and we'll help put maybe Show over as well because we need someone from Rapongi. 3K there. Hmm. I mean, it's working to have them continuously do some of these. So. So entertainment segment. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Shelton just tweeted that Masa Saito has passed away. Oh, shit. That's a thing. <clears throat> All right. Uh, time splitters. I wish I could, you know, say something about that right now, but yeah. <laughs> Time Splitters Championship Series uh, with single person. Well, one of each team. Uh, oh God, I'm trying to think of like a. I'm trying to think of like a Nickelodeon guts thing for them to do. Oh man, <laughs> what was something? That would be and, uh, something that you cover. could potentially. Hmm. What if I just what if I just hit that like Nickelodeon guts games or events, and I could see perhaps the, some of the things that they did. That doesn't help. Bullseye. Oh, that's that slam dunk. Yeah, we can do. I mean, we did the soccer thing. We could do the basketball thing. That would work. Yeah, that'd probably work. Uh, with one of each team trying to slam dunk. Whoops. Balls with time splitters. Occasionally... Swatting them away from ah young bucks. There we go. Did I watch New Legacy Inks WrestleMania? Uh, I did. In fact, I watched that instead of uh, I, I watched that instead of uh, of uh, the pay per view tonight because I felt like that'd be more exciting. And I'm, I'm kind of glad I did, because it sounds like I didn't miss much of anything tonight. So probably a good eight minutes of that. This tends to get them over more than anybody else. <laughs> Uh, injury risk? Nah, we're good. I don't think they'll get injured. They'll be fine. So we'll throw that out there. Oh, what else? I'm trying to remember what else. There was one other thing I wanted to make sure I did. All right. Right. Okay. Sammy Sabay. And Father Kingston, we're talking about justice. I need to bring somebody up real quick. Ba -ba. Borrow. So add an angle with, once again, Sammy Sabay, Father Kingston. And Tommaso Ciampa. And a whole bunch of that. Oh, thanks, Stay Hydrated Bot. Appreciate it. I mean, you didn't want to see Randy Orton kick Jeff Hardy in the balls? Nah. Yeah, I heard about some of the other things. I heard, I heard that Asuka just like, okay... People tend to use people tend to like oversaturate the word buried, but it sounds like they were mishandling Oscar worse than you could ever mishand. Like she literally went from like undefeated for three years to a complete joke 
in like two months. Asuka slipped forehead first into the cage and got pinned. That sounds dumb. Uh, okay. Sam in Kingston. Oops. Out with a lawyer. Champa. Now, I will say this. I had this idea quite a while ago. At least a couple weeks ago. So the timing of it's actually kind of funny. Out with their lawyer, Champa. Who tells time splitters about their assault and want to settle with. Ah. We'll just put that Talk there. To, uh, the great Hulk Hogan. That's right. <clears throat> and we'll do probably six, seven minutes. That's probably good. I don't know. Champa's not really a. Uh, well, he's all right. <laughs> Seven minutes is probably good on that. Um, let's see. We'll put a lot of time in between Tomatonga Lady Beard. Actually, we'll put this. Uh, yeah, probably about there. Oh, Carmella pushed her. Okay. Either way, it just sounds stupid and cartoony and not like the same person, not like the same person who uh, who uh, went through through hell and back in a, a last man standing match. By the way, I really want that Los and Gobernables baseball jersey. I was at Anime Iowa and actually saw that base, someone wearing that baseball jersey. Or a variation of it, because it had, I, I think it had bigger letters than what that is. But, yeah. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll do instead. It, it would it would make some sort of sense. Uh, there we go. Okay. So let's see, selling selling entertainment. Why not? Yeah, I mean, his he could probably sell more too, but that's fine. We'll just do this. Yeah, I went to a New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, panel at Anime Iowa, which is very interesting. Which is actually just. When I went there, I, I don't know what to think of it. I didn't know what to think of it, but it was mostly just kind of a very basic encyclopedia of, like, hey, these are the main players. These are the stables. Uh, this is why New Japan is better than WWE, because it tells stories and it's camera work. Uh, insert show buckles name 15,000 times, end of panel. Q&A, and then it's a bunch of dudes in Bullet Club shirts going, what do you think of Vince Russo? And it's like, motherfucker. <laughs> I know WWE is popular, but this is a goddamn New Japan panel. So I was like, hey, do you watch any other, you know, Puro stuff, like Pure Rest stuff? And he's like, yeah, you know, I watch, uh, I, I watch uh, uh, Ring of Honor and uh, PWG. And I'm just sitting there in my head, just going, "Not what I asked you." <laughs> I don't. I really don't want to be like that kind of like arrogant dude. So I just kind of left it alone. It's like, no, no, no. I mean, like Japanese promotions. <laughs> I just kind of sat there, like, okay. I guess he talked about wanting to getting into Stardom World and uh, DDT Universe, which would be cool. Uh, let's do that. And that. And neutral. And low. 
Los Ingobernables de Jericho. I thought about it, but I think I, at this point, instead of trying to continuously change the name, we'll just keep it at Los Ingobernables. I know it doesn't make much sense in hindsight of, you know, everything else. I heard the the I heard it wasn't very extreme for an extreme rules pay per view. It wasn't very extreme aside from Kevin Owens dying, which I haven't seen the footage of, and would be somewhat interested. If someone can find like a short Twitter video or a GIF of Kevin Owens dying, that would be fantastic. Uh, let's see. Reynolds behind Doy. Uh, spins him around, and I guess he'd still be too close, but uh, yeah, we'll 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 find a way to make it happen. Uh, Claymore kicks him, runs before Akira could catch him. There we go. This guy sounds like he just got into wrestling. I mean, it's probably a dude who has been watching wrestling for a while because he was mentioning some historical stuff where, like, okay, like, this guy probably knows at least a thing or two, but he might have just kind of gotten into New Japan a little while back. I don't know. He will be able to go to the heavyweight division? Actually, yes, I do. I do. I'm glad to hear that Owens was. Uh, no, no, no. You're trying to you're trying to stir it up and get into our plans, it's huh? Yeah. I'm glad to know Owens. Owens at least held that that end there. Um. Actually, we won't raid Akira on anything because it won't really mean anything. It's more. That way we can make it a quick three minutes. What did I forget? Doi versus. Oh shit! Oh shit! I already. I need to. I did book Shane Hollister and Naruki Doi. That's right. Now I remember. We should add an angle to change that because Tyler is dumb. <laughs> Tyler is a dum dum. Uh, there we go. All right, so we can do that. All right. Um. Yeah. A lot of people had Sonata as a Ray has Shane in his office. Tell Shane. Uh, the main event was changed. To have Kenny and Doi. Versus Shane and partner. Oh my goodness! I. All right. Uh, wow. I am just the worst at typing right now. There. Partner of his choosing, basically. Christ. Uh, let's go. You know what? That'll be like the opening thing. It's almost like it's almost cold open. you know, they generally keep to themselves. Right. They uh, you know, their travel is a little bit different than uh where's done? We're going to throw we're 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 getting done in there. Um yeah. We got we got 5 minutes. I could probably change that actually. Let's I want to have probably I'm I'm thinking 8 would be fantastic amount of time to have right now because I would like a good four minutes of just about everything let me see here uh, I would greatly prefer four minutes so we might actually turn this down to 13 nine minutes nine minutes is great oh no what is this pick Oh yeah, I did. I did end up seeing that. Yeah, I think it was on. I think it was on Reddit. The uh, Bret Hart being a jerk backstage decided to start a fight with Mike Tyson. 
That's a smart idea. Let's do, actually, let's do Pete Dunn and then Katsuyori Shibata. Uh, Dunn runs down with Opportunity Trophy. Looks to cash in. But runs into a Shibata head kick and knocked out. <laughs> I like the idea that he's just running with a referee. Like, he's just running trying to find a referee and Shibata just kicks his fucking head off. Neutral and I guess a decent success there. There we go. You had to pay Brett 600k to not be angry. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, so there's a whole lot of stuff. The final 10 minutes of post main event stuff is just crazy. Actually, I could probably even knock this down to like three, maybe like three minutes. If that, I could probably even knock it down to two, and that'd give me seven minutes to make some of this other stuff work. Uh, uh, okay, so day one revolt thing needs to happen, and I'm not 100% sure how um because i've got ideas i just need to make it i just need to make it happen proper so that's all i that's all i need to do um let me see let me see what i did on the last one and try to and try to build off of that uh shane day one i'd say they're fed up with revolt want to end this once and for all they do the match and it looked like that was pretty much it All right. Uh, let's do. Come on, show. Uh, let's let's have them. He's out. He's out. Let's have them. Alpha Junior. Wow, he just choked the shit out of him. Goddamn Sonata. By the way, Los Gobernables is a part of that. Uh, yeah, they're a part of the tag thing. Is Marty back? Not yet. And even then, I don't know if he's still going to be high on drugs. Dude, Naito taking some fucking unnecessary bumps. <laughs> Naito taking some seriously shit bumps that's going to wreck his, wreck his fucking career. Uh, okay, so Alpha Noi Jr., Cody Hall... Uh, Matt Cage and Juice Robinson, well, and they're talking to Brother Ray. It's already heated. And let's just say Adam Cole kind of shows up with it. All right. Day one with Ray. Once a final match. With Revolt. Refused until Cole walks in, running his mouth. I'll just I'll just leave it at that for right now. So maybe a good like six minutes on that. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah. I think minor success on just about everything there. Here we go. Uh, where's the best place to put it? Probably right there, I'd say. It's a lot of time in between matches, but you know what? It'll be fine. The only other place would maybe be that. But I think I'll put uh, I think I'll put enough space in between Tomatonga Lady Beard and then the Shane Hollister thing. 
There we go. And then I could probably do that one last bit. Shane, Katsuri, Shibata, Kenny, Naruki. He's not my type, brother. <laughs> Neither one of them would screw the other. Between Hogan and Brett, that sounds uh, unrealistic. <laughs> we'll just do a bunch of overness right here. Shane out. Thought he might uh, not have a tag partner until Shibata walks out. Behind him, I guess it. I guess you don't really have to uh, not rate anything on that. So, I'd say a decent success. You know, I don't think we've seen Shibata too much right now. I think it's been a little bit since we've kind of. He had the he had the thing against Rude a couple weeks ago. Other than that, was let's see, Tozawa beating him a few few weeks before that. So he's looking he's looking to kick somebody's ass. Uh, so I think that would be enough. There we go. And then we could run that right behind there. All right. And I think we have set it up. 17 segments is a bit more than I'm than it's a usual TV event. But I think we've got enough going on now. So I think it is pretty much time to go. There we go. All right. 2,900 people in the Maui War Memorial Gymnasium. We've gone to Hawaii for this. And uh, we start off Adrenaline. Brother Ray's in his office. Mentions that uh, the original main event, of course, was Shane Hollister versus Naruki Doi. Well, plans change, brother. And uh, Brother Ray tells Shane the main event was changed, and he's deciding to have Kenny Omega team with Naruki Doi. And uh, Shane has, you know, maybe a good hour and a half or so to uh, find himself a partner uh, to fight these guys. So we will find out how that works. Wow, La Sombra got a 75. Jesus Christ. Johnny Gargano versus La Sombra. Got a nice little 79 there. Uh, La Sombra getting the win, actually, in uh, 14 minutes. These guys going all out seem to have done wonders for both of them, especially La Sombra. Jesus. So, yeah. Penalized for its short match length and not so much booking decisions, it looked like. So that's good. But uh, nonetheless, solid little match for La Sombra, getting himself a solid win for Los and Gobernables. Ah. And uh, Omega, uh, after the match, comes uh, comes strolling on out. He's, of course, going to be in the main event, but he's already down here to start uh, knocking around La Sombra. And uh, he just demanding Naito once again. Uh, wanting to know, you know, Jericho said he had he was going to get an answer from him. Kenny deciding he's not going to wait. He's out here for the match. You know, he's out here after the match to make sure, hey, where's Naito? I need my answer from Naito. Uh, Jericho coming out with a mic. He d d looks none too happy that uh, uh, La Sombra uh, has, been, has been beaten down. Uh, unfortunately, you know, he can't do too much because, of course, Sonata and Hiromu Takahashi are busy uh, doing the Time Splitters Championship Series. And uh, he says that uh, if he wants Naito, Naito will be at Revolution. Now, he uh, insists that Naito will not be able to physically compete. However, uh, he will be at Revolution. And I might as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just put that as like Tetsuya Naito set to appear. Uh, 
We'll just put like overness. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna we'll junk this anyway by the time we get uh, by the time we get into that. So we'll just do that. <clears throat> the never open heavyweight champion Goto was never heavyweight champion. I mean, <laughs> okay, gotcha. I had to think about it for a second. All right, so we get uh, Prince Devitt coming out with uh, Bob Sapp. He's out for his uh, next uh, Hybrid Rules exhibition. He's got his gloves on. He's got his fight shorts on and uh, talks up the teachings of Bob Sapp and, uh, you know, runs down uh, other opponents. Uh, once again, sort of uh, running down Shibata, which uh, seems like that could be a uh, an issue maybe later on. Uh, so, yeah, he's he says a lot of tough words because he doesn't believe anyone's here. And uh, so he decides to bring out his next opponent from from the realm of early 2000s, early to mid 2000s, pulled from out of nowhere is Jarrell Clark, who got a 15 because he is just not known. Uh, so it went uh, it was subpar wrestling in Little Heat, which is great because it just <laughs> maybe puts Devin over <laughs> as a. Real bastard, because how dare you give me subpar wrestling. Jarrell Clark was rusty. I'm shocked. 59 was still what I figured was going to happen. Uh, but uh, this time, instead of submission, it was a stoppage. Uh, Jarrell Clark tried to hold on as much as he can, but eventually uh, Devitt just had to, was straight up beating him too much, and uh, they had to eventually stop it. So Prince Devitt getting the victory, got his hand raised uh, in victory by Bob Sapp. Uh, Davey Richards once again coming out again and, uh, you know, calling out his uh, faux mixed martial arts uh, style that he has in the, the idea that he is uh, nothing close to a mixed martial artist and he never will be. And... Uh, it ends up challenging him to a match. Uh, Prince Devitt just sort of waving him away, saying, "Ah, whatever. You know, I, I'm doing, I'm doing just fine. You don't want any of this. Trust me, you don't want to face me." And uh, you know, that's kind of how it, uh, how it sits for right now. HBK's contract ending matched up with his retirement, so instead of retiring, he jumped ship. Oh wow, man. <laughs> WrestleMania 14, the night when mankind, the the mankind era began. <laughs> All right, then we get another episode of the Time Splitters Championship Series once again. You know, it'd be funny. By the way, just I I feel like mentioning this, and I'm I apologize in advance because I feel like I'm going to mention this perhaps every time because it's a fun, it's a fun thing to think about. Is that uh, because obviously I'm doing a parody of Nickelodeon Guts, and they could physically do the Time Splitters Championship Series in the same building that Nickelodeon Guts was, because it was at Soundstage 21 at Universal Studios. Uh, but most people in wrestling refer to it as now the Impact Zone. So, <laughs> same place they did Nickelodeon Guts became the Impact Zone. <laughs> Just, just thought I'd throw that out there. But uh, Time Splitters Championship Series going on. Uh, both the Young Bucks are there. Only one of them competing. Dalton Castle, Beretta, Hiromu, and Sho. All for their own respective teams. Uh, it, it is a uh, slam dunk competition. And uh, they have uh, balls that they need to try to slam dunk. Of course, they have baby. Uh, you know, the original Guts did it with, like, uh, ropes and stuff. Maybe they'll do it with, like, trampolines. Make it a little bit more Make it a little bit more uh, dangerous. But, uh, you know, uh, it seemed like uh, Nick Jackson was doing a little bit too well for uh, the time splitters. And uh, they were sort of uh, swatting the balls away from other people, but mostly Nick Jackson. Uh, to keep them from uh, to keep them from winning this competition, and in the end, Beretta, as I think the only one of the people actually being over six feet tall, 
<laughs> wins the slam dunk competition for receipt of vice. What are Generation Me doing back in the Impact Zone? By the way, hey, Okada. Okada in the chat, not in the... Well, I mean, it's not in the... Are they setting up for Goto? Well, okay, Goto and Omega probably. Goto and Omega are probably facing each other in the G1. It would be interesting to see Goto once again starting to potentially work his way into <laughs> trying to get to a G1 main event. What if what if that's the ultimate swerve, by the way? What if that's the ultimate swerve happening in uh, in in this tournament? Is that everyone thinks like Koda's gonna win? And then fucking Goto wins it to challenge. I don't know who he would challenge. I don't know who could hit with. I don't know if Kenny would still have the title at that point. I don't know. Either way, Tama Tonga comes out and uh, he has told people that uh, he has heard their voices. He uh, He understands... I figure the tag match is designed to have the opponents the next night. You know, I understand, but it'd be kind of, uh, that's what I thought the swerve would be <laughs> is it's like, Oh man, we're going to get Goto versus Omega in the rematch. And then just Goto wins. And then eventually goes on to win the tournament. It's like, Oh shit. We're actually getting that Goto push now. Fucking idiot. Fought Ming. Oh my God. Remember Beretta, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Tom and Tongue coming out, telling people that he heard their voices <laughs> and their uh, wants and desires, and he realizes that Shinsuke Nakamura was quite popular with his uh, television championship open challenge. He's not quite doing that, but he is putting the ch the television championship on the line. And uh, he, he found someone to, to put it up against tonight, so they're going to get themselves a television championship match featuring the one and only Tama Tonga. And it is Ladybeard, who is carried to an 82. Uh, he put up a bit of a bigger fight than uh, originally uh, intended. Tama Tonga figured he could easily just uh, rid him of Ladybeard very, very quickly. Instead, Ladybeard ended up... Uh, Putting up a halfway decent fight, but uh, eventually just uh, dropped to a gun stun uh, without too much effort out of Tama Tonga. And, uh, dude, that 96 by Tama Tonga, by the way, just by himself. Uh, so Tama Tonga hitting the gun stun, getting the win, and making his third official defense of the television title. Uh, Sammy Sabe and Father Kingston come out on their own come out to the ring and uh, once again tell people about uh, their desire for uh, justice and they said that justice is uh, on his way to being served and it is in the form of Tommaso Ciampa who we haven't seen in probably at least a year now I think it's been close to a year I can't remember exactly when. I think it was like December when I got rid of him. I can't remember the last match, the last time he appeared, but I know it was like either November or December of last year. So it's been a, around a year. And uh, he's dressed up in a suit, and uh, he is their lawyer. Um, you know, he says he's been he's been practicing he's been practicing law for over fifteen years, and uh, has brought a uh, a letter. <coughs> To uh, to the time splitters to let them know about uh, the rules of uh, the, the the rules of engagement with other people in rename him to his lawyer name. I have no idea what it was, honestly. I did not. I did not see. But uh, but uh, he he lets them know that of course that there's no issues with attacking people inside the building. But uh, once people are outside, there's uh, there's a belief that they uh, are allowed to be safe, and uh, so uh, what what the, the time splitters did to Sammy and Kingston could be considered assault. However, 
uh, they would like to settle. And not so much a monetary settlement as much as it is a tag team championship settlement. Uh, that the, they will all will be forgiven if Sammy Sabe and Father Kingston get a shot at the Hawkeye Pro Tag Team Championships. Uh, maybe we'll find out perhaps next week uh, what the Time Splitters' answer could be. Demarso Whitney. Oh God. <laughs> Man, I, I should have thought about that. Um, I also thought about other things uh, that I should have done as well, and I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do it. Uh, there was another. There was another bit I wanted to keep going, but uh, I'll just change it back to where it was. It's not a huge deal. Uh, so there you go. The the I idea of settling this. Uh, it sits there with a potential Time Splitters title defense against Sammy and Kingston. Uh, we get day one, all four members of day one in Brother Ray's office. Of course, they had discussed ending things once and for all with Brother Ray. Uh, Ray just kind of nonchalantly just maybe looking at it like a notebook or a clipboard or something. Just saying, ah, I've got some matches in the works and... Uh, you know, I don't think this is going to be... I don't think there's really a right time to do this. Um, but, you know, we'll we'll see maybe what we could potentially do. Uh, he, he's not wholly interested in really caring too much about the day one guys. Uh, Adam Cole just kind of uh, walks his way in. Uh, notices all the day one guys because they figure they're not going to do anything while the boss is there. And, uh, you know, he runs his mouth a little bit, insulting the members of day one, and then uh, makes the mistake of running his mouth and insulting Brother Ray about some of the things he's been having to deal with between Tama Tonga and, uh, you know, the Alex Reynolds Akira Tozawa thing. And uh, Brother Ray, visibly uh, unhappy about that, uh, says uh, after, after Cole leaves, kind of looks at uh, day one and says that he'll get back to them by next week. Uh, about having a match between Day One and Revolt to perhaps end the war between them. And we get a Cleaner's Closet segment, which is apparently one of the greatest interview segments ever, as Naruki Doi and Akira Tozawa sit down with Kenny Omega. Of course, the Bucks aren't there because they're dealing with uh, the championship series, but he is uh, joined by Doi and Tozawa. Uh, where they go over their various opponents, uh, running down Alex Reynolds and Shane and uh, Shibata, and uh, also kind of run down Naito and Los and Gobernables, and uh, you know just just take their turns insulting the people they are they are unhappy with at the time. Uh, and since they're already out there, that leads to Shane Hollister coming out for his match. Those hollow races, why is <laughs> Yeah, he's maybe maybe because I don't know if I've I don't know what I did with the Tozawa Kenny thing, but maybe Tozawa considers Kenny like an honorary Japanese person at this point. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that happens in real life sometimes, where guys aren't completely they aren't really a certain. Uh, <laughs> I've said that before. That's that's probably I, I've probably considered that before already. Why is Adam Page busting out? Or I guess he's not Adam Page. Why is Hangman Page busting out so many goddamn shooting stars right now? Yeah, Akira respects Kenny and Devitt as Japanese. That's I remember saying that. So we can keep that. We can keep that rolling. <laughs> So Shane Hollister coming out, and uh, in that hour and a half, he did manage to find a tag team partner, and that is Katsuyori Shibata. And uh, that is what we will get for our main event tonight. <laughs> Does Hall considers Kenny a weeb? He looks down on him with pity. <laughs> and uh, we get Shane Hollister and Shibata versus Omega and Doi. Uh, an exceptional match between all of them. Wow, all getting like 70s. 
I'm kind of surprised. They seem to maybe bust their asses on events, but TV shows, they don't care too much. I Understandably. Uh, Shane Hollister ends up getting the win, though, with the uh, Iowa leg lock after uh, uh, La Sombra came down after dealing with uh, Omega, sort of, uh, after dealing with Omega, um, you know, assaulting him after his match in the opening match. Comes down to distract Omega and uh, and uh, help Shane Hollister beat him. <clears throat> Keep running segments with Goldberg. Eh, that's a good idea. <laughs> and uh, Shane Hollister getting the win, the heavyweight champ getting the win in uh, the main event of this. And uh, so he gets the he gets the win, celebrates a little bit. Tozawa and Doi start to surround him. Omega is outside of the ring, and uh, Shane manages to slip away from Tozawa and Doi before they could do anything. Uh, but unfortunately, Kenny Omega is there to catch Shane, and uh, <clears throat> unhappy as he is to have tapped out, decides to take out his frustration on him by uh, lifting him up when he uh, wasn't expecting it and hitting him on a one-winged angel on the floor. Shane Hollister completely out. That allows Pete Dunn to start running out. He's got the opportunity trophy in his hand. He looks to potentially start cashing in. Starts hauling it over to the uh, to the uh, timekeepers to start uh, to to give them the opportunity trophy. Uh, Shibata, who is recovering on one side of the ring, uh, sees him and uh, decides to uh, just straight up kick him in the face. Pete Dunn did not realize that Shibata was there. Ends up getting a foot directly to his face and he is knocked out cold on the floor as Shibata stands over him. The final bit, uh, you know, both Tozawa and Doi are sort of, uh, sort of uh, going over this, looking over the carnage that has happened. And, uh, you know, Doi turns around and Alex Reynolds is there out of nowhere, hits him with the Claymore kick and uh, slinks out of there before Tozawa could uh, get a, uh, a rebuttal attack on him. And that will be it for Anniversary. Lady Beard was slightly overused. You don't say. <clears throat> All right. All right. So I think a couple bits of spoilers before I get into breakout. Number one, I meant to use Paul Levesque tonight because there's a, a bit I want to do that's going to be one of the stupidest things you've ever seen. And it's I, I think it's only been done a very few amount of times. <laughs> and that's the idea that I wanted to make uh, Paul Levesque, the the guy working with Shane Hollister. Yeah, see, I still need to make that happen. Just regular old Just Paul working with Shane Hollister on uh, Adrenaline as a, uh, a mentor. And then on Breakout is Helmsley, the creator. And the only one not wised, not wised up to what's going on is, is Triple H himself. <laughs> 4.53 has to be pretty damn good. 3.4 million people. I will take it. I have to I feel like I have to keep looking also at this because I'm, the magic number is 41 throughout most of these. And everything here is good. There's just a few left here. Like you could slot one of those over there and one of those over there. I just need 22 of these things to say at least a 41, hoping that'll be the case by the end of the uh, the year. So I got about five more weeks of that. Uh, Gargano is annoyed because I was it. Maybe it wasn't Gargano, or maybe it was, because he was furious at yeah he was furious at losing right because he lost to La Sombra, so he's still annoyed. So I'll give him, uh, we'll do eight grand. How about that? He's still annoyed. All right. Well, should be fine. We'll be okay. He'll get over it. And also, the time splitters are getting themselves a lawyer. 
And I need to find that lawyer. First off, I want to see when brother... When's brother Yashi coming back again? He doesn't speak English. And he's kind of okay. 29 days. Okay. That might be an idea. Let me... But the time splitters need a lawyer for themselves to talk. And I thought, thought what better? Did Gargano win? I don't remember that. I thought La Sombra won. And I'm, I don't, maybe, maybe I'm really... Yeah, La Sombra defeated Gargano, and that's why he was irritated. It's weird because he, like, he is both... <laughs> if you look at it... Whoops. Uh, he is both... Um, <clears throat> furious and happy at his recent booking because this both happened on the same night obviously because he was furious at it but then he was also happy so I don't know what the fuck is I think Johnny Gargano is just bipolar Helmsley the lawyer no we're going actually fun part is uh, this is what's one of some of the fun parts about um, about uh, having Having this play for as long as it has is being able to potentially bring back somebody. Uh, bring back an old character who hasn't been around in a while. Uh, who would be perfect for this role. And uh, negotiate that. Don't bring him in. I mean, we're just going to do just a little bitty, a little bitty thing here. I'm assuming he's not. Okay, cool. There we go. Uh Exclusive paper appearance. Look at the strength from Hangman Page. Here we go. Not covered. Don't involve entering work. 680? Okay. I can do 680. <laughs> I think it's I think it's time for a little violent J attorney at law to make himself a nice little comeback. To talk on the Time Splitter's behalf. Don't know about you, but that sounds pretty fun. <laughs> Anybody else? Taiji Ishimori getting sidelined with a simple fibula fracture. Jesus. <laughs> Didn't that turn into killings? Uh, yes, it did. It did eventually turn into killings. <laughs> I don't know. Was he even still? I want to see actually real quickly if he was still employed by us when we went over to T. I don't know if he was still employed by us by the time. Um, okay, August 2017. So it's been over two years since we have seen Violent J attorney at law. And I feel like if there's a time for a lawyer character to show up. Oh God, Elgin is Elgin and, and Hangman Page are about to kill themselves. And it's even worse for Elgin because he's like five foot three. They gonna go in the ring or out of the ring? Okay, that was that was it was it, was, it, it felt like blue balls. Hey, at least we're still in Hawaii. That makes sense. Where is this at? Wait, why are 11? Oh, okay. We're okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. An instant jump of like 3,600 people are going to show up this time. That's a that's a big jump. Let's see. Les Marikami Stadium. 4,300. Yeah, sure. Why not? Anything, anything. In locker room incidents. Let's see what happened here. Oh, look. We got more negative influences. Finley and Hero, okay. Passing on psychology tips to Hero. Isn't Hero mostly known for quite a lot of... Uh... Oh, when you said old character, you meant Toby Keith. I, I considered it. <laughs> I considered it, but I'm like, you know what? If, it's gonna, if we need a lawyer character, who better than Violent J, attorney at law? Okay, did I have any pre-booking? No, I did not. Perfect. Wow, we're over an hour and a half in. I need to get a uh, I need to get a handle on this because it's gonna be 
long if I keep this going. <laughs> that took so long. This is what happens when New Japan's on on the other monitor. Uh, analysis. Uh, no, not analysis. What the fuck am I looking at? History. That's what I need. I need to find out what happened and what I need to potentially do because I had an idea. Okay, Kana Athena, Ash and Kyrie beating Shimmer and Shine. So maybe we could do that. There's there's uh, an idea to potentially do that again. How about we do that? I've actually got an idea for that. So let's do... Let's do... Um... 2v2. Yeah, we can run that match again, maybe. Because that was a that was an idea I had. So we could do Dash and Kyrie against uh, Matthews and Eagles. And let's see here. Shimmer and Shine. Uh, actually, hang on. Damn, I, I don't know if I, I should probably add more tag teams to this, so let me let me look at this real quick. Let's see, Rena's defeated that and that, okay. Uh, yeah, actually, that would, uh, that would make a, a slight bit of sense, so we could do that again. So let me just do that again here. Dash and Kyrie versus Shimmer and Shine. There we go. All right. I love the attitude. Winner challenges for the Hawkeye Pro. Whoops. Women's tag. Wait, how long have they been wrestling? It seems like there's. Feels like they've been wrestling for a little bit. I wonder if this is gonna, dude. If Hangman. And Elgin go time limit. I don't think they will. And, okay, we'll give them another, like, 20 minutes. Maybe, like, 21 to just go ham on one another here. Uh, give it to Foley. And we're going to give it to Matthews. All right. Uh, storytelling. I think we could do storytelling. I think that's what I did last time. All right. Open match. Call it in the ring. On a slow build. We're going to get a tainted win, though, because what we're going to get is we're going to get uh, interference on Kyrie by, uh, let's do codename Ray. And dash by Miu. Since they're facing each other at Revolution, we can do that as well. And I think that's what we got. Kyrie is furious at the booking of this match. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Where are we at? We're, at, we're in Hawaii. So if we were in the Great Lakes of the Southeast, I don't think they'd complain as much. So that's the issue I think we have right here. Uh, would Eagles be a slightly better option? Probably not. Um, I mean, we got the... Oh, man, I'm trying to think here. Uh, keep Kyrie... Keep both Dash and Kyrie strong, then. That's going to really fuck with things, but... At least they'll, at least they'll accept that. <clears throat> Fun fact... Just go to Twitter and just type in Elgin and see what I, I always say this. I always I always say the uh, I always say it's it's always uh, a little bit interesting to just type in the word Elgin on Twitter and just just see who uh, just see what people have to say. Because <laughs> uh, it's it's usually popcorn worthy. And let's see here. Move over to that. 
Okay, so we have that tag match because we need to set up for something there. We have Dash and Mew set up. We need... Um, I guess we could do another tag match. Mmm. Actually, I've got an idea. <laughs> this is going to be really, really... This could be dumb. I'm trying to think if this is what I really want to do, though. So give me a sec. Yeah, okay, okay. No, 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 okay. Ah. Uh. I'm really torn on how I want to do this because I know the matches I want to do. Um, all right, we'll just give one of the teams a match here. And let's do like, um, let's put MYC out there and they'll take on the Evil League of Evil because I don't think they've faced them too many times. Dastardly and Mary Dobson have awful chemistry. Ah, oh, that's right. Ah, uh, balls. I mean, I don't really have a, a, a another option. So, I guess having the Eagle, Evil League of Evil destroy them should work. Hey, Felix, how's it going? I don't know what to think about this. What is this, Evil and Yoshihashi? It's probably not going to be great. This is probably... Uh, I'm a, you know, Evil should win, and it'll probably be uh, an okay match at the very best. <laughs> uh, 14 minutes, I guess. And let's see. Uh, dastardly or married? Da it should be dastardly, honestly. And we're going to have Evie lose because she's got a bad attitude. <laughs> she's apparently a negative influence, so we need to beat that negative influence out of her. We'll give it an open match, I guess. We'll give them a shot. Uh, but nonetheless, they're still going to lose. Mm, now I have to wonder if I want to use the gauntlet. Oh, that'd be fucked. I don't know if I don't know if I could use either one. Uh, if it would mean anything, well, it could mean something. Uh, I could maybe make it work. I, I I do have an idea with them that I've floated around in my head with the MYC, and I think I could do it. I think maybe someone might get hit with the gauntlet tonight. That's my idea. We'll see. Um, da, da, da. Let's see here. Women's division people. I'm just trying to look. Eh, there wasn't many of them. Uh, looking at the history. I mean, Miyu, Becky. Uh, Justice Legion. Hikaru Shida did pretty good. Kana, fully out of the levers, neck and, neck and back brace. Okay, so we got to do the Kana thing as well. Um, ah, damn. I'm just trying to make sure. Who can I put out there? Mayu. How about we put Mayu out there in a match? That would probably be helpful. We can put Mayu, ba, 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 Mayu, and then she can face. Uh, let's do Flair. Uh, I've actually got a maybe a decent idea with that, depending on how this looks. Oh, she Mayu's really gonna hate if I have her lose. She's really gonna hate that. This fucking cat. Ah, uh, man. Let's let's go. Let's go 18. How about that? That should be enough. Let's do Ashley Flair. 
I think they could do storytelling. Oh, I keep looking at it. I'm not 100% sure. 78 Psych. 74. Ah, it should be enough. How did Mayo get so much popularity? I don't know. I kind of really started pushing her like two years ago. And she just kind of got up there. And then she just kind of started staying up there a little bit. Because she started getting over in like angles and such. So she's she's pretty well over at this point. It's a bit more ridiculous with EO because EO's literally like top 10 in America in popularity in both male and female. I think she's actually about as over as John Cena is, if not more. Uh, so yeah, Ashley Flair to be the victor. We're going to keep Mayu strong, though, which I know is going to limit this shit. Um, so, yeah, this will be the storytelling match. The idea is to do a tainted win because they need a little bit of something something at this point. So, I think for a distraction, we get uh, Brittany Knight to offer a distraction to Mayu. She is furious. Of course she is. She is not an easy person to work with. Okay, she fucking took it. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, legit. Let me see where EO, EO sits. Because she's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, that's... I mean, it's it's quite a bit now. But yeah, I mean, I think she was like pretty much at like a five when I first got her. Now she's... Like main event. Um, speaking of EO, maybe I should because she's been doing a lot of her uh, angles and such. She's been doing a lot of the segments that um, sort of make sense, but I feel like having her in a match should also be a thing to strive for. So what if I put her out there again against? Hmm. You should put EO out there. Uh, who is someone... Uh, I mean, there's a Zoomy. I don't know if I should use a Zoomy for that, though. That's not a good idea. Dash would be interesting, but Dash is... Uh, Dash and EO are... Uh, well, Dash is already wrestling tonight. Number one, and Dash and EO are sort of on, like, it's at a point now where putting them together means it's got to be on a pay-per-view. Uh, EO, that, that's, the, that's the thing about EO, is EO has these sort of matches with people that um, there's, there's a small amount of people uh, that EO faces that I wouldn't want to put on TV because they need to be on pay-per-view. It is Dash, Kana, and Kyrie, and I think Mayu. Uh, just about everyone else is fair game beyond that, but yeah, Mayu, Kana, Kyrie, and Dash are kind of the ones where it's like, if she's going one on one with one of them, it better be on a goddamn pay per view. Um, I could do Arisa. I don't want to have her lose to. Uh, you know what? Okay. If I'm going to do this, I could do Hamada, because that one... Hamada's pretty popular, but she's not so popular that it wouldn't work. And she's a damn good ring worker that's going to probably give us our main event. Like, our very strong main event. Uh, so we can probably have this go about 21. This one's going to this one's gonna push the limits, I think, of our... Uh, how much time I usually spend on uh, matches to... Yeah, matches to um, angles. Chono road agent this. EO taking the win. I need to get EO in like her, her other look that is more reminiscent of uh, where I'm booking her right now. Uh, let's do open match. Call it in the ring. Slow build it. Thanks, stay hydrated. But decisive win. That is the G1 in the background. Yes. <laughs> Usually because of the time that I stream, uh, there's several times uh, that I will end up having New Japan on another monitor uh, in the background in 
in uh, in, in lieu of maybe having music. <laughs> let's see. Is that about all I should have? Yeah. I don't think I'll put the title on the line. It makes some sense if I do, though. Uh... When is her next title defense? Uh, okay. Why not? We'll we'll book around that to put the women's title on the line. That'll be their main event. That would be perfect. Okay, pro women's. There we go. Whoops. Women's. It's a target every match from every Uh yeah. All right. So here we go. Because I did put Shane in a random heavyweight title match, so I could have a ran like a, a, a heavyweight title match on TV. Because that didn't happen for a year. Uh, when was the last time uh, the women's title was on on TV? Uh, when was the last one? Uh, Leva Bates in her. Oh uh, yeah, that was during her her shitty reign. <laughs> The two times when uh, the when Leva beat Kyrie after a two day reign, or maybe a four day reign, and then her having a, a bullshit yeah, I feel like the next TV match should be something less bullshitty than what that was. So, tacos might go winless in the G one. I wouldn't be sad if that happens. <laughs> I don't. I don't really care for Yoshihashi, you know. And you can see that Yoshihashi barely kicked out. So I can't I'd be surprised if he even makes it to the fucking G1 next year. Maybe he'll have someone like Cody. He's going to pull him in. Everything is evil. I think those would be the matches. 82 minutes is really put. Like, I think it's like 84 is about the max I could do to hit that uh, around 60% matches. So there might not be a whole lot of uh, back and forth between between uh, matches here besides the stuff that I really want to hit on. So Mayu, Paul, Ashley, Ashley Flair, Becky Knox, Brittany Knight. Uh, she's selling. She's selling her match. They're going to go there. They're going to go there. Okay. Uh, Mayu and Heyman upset at Revolutions cheating. Uh, they wanted to do anything to get a win because they kind of need it. So, hey, they find out this cheating thing works. Why not? Uh, I'd say neutral, I guess. Neutral. This is this is more on them to start kind of like, hey, this cheating thing works out pretty well, doesn't it? There we go. <clears throat> right. Uh, okay, I did do the attack thing the way I wanted to. Perfect. All right. Uh, Dash and Kyrie need to come out. Dash. Oh, wow. What the My fuck? Uh, I just I just missed what the fuck just happened, but I saw I saw Yoshihashi and Evil just take a fucking tumble over the over the turnbuckle into the floor. What in the hell just happened? A lot of people are saying it's Yoshi's fault. That's not good. I didn't see exactly what happened there. All I I looked over just in time to watch them like really just eat shit onto the floor. Damn, Yoshihashi gonna get buried further down the card if he hurts Evil. <laughs> The fuck is this? Okay. Dash and Kyrie. Whoops. 
Dashing Kyrie. Looking towards maybe getting a tag title match. But mostly look to I'm trying to think. Ending Heyman Hit Squad. Here we go. He might not have it fully applied, Yoshihashi, but evil. Before he Walt is already like 30 seconds past that. Oh, are they like are they like way ahead of where I am? <laughs> Uh, four minutes on their little promo to make sure we understand. Hey, Dash and Kyrie are here to do their thing, but hey, still. Um, okay, so Dash, Kyrie, uh, Miu. Who won Elgin Hangman? Elgin. Codename Maki. Codename Ray. Uh, so let's see here. I'd say selling there. And you know what? Let's just do selling here too. Oh, God, spoilers. I mean, it is going on right now, you know. I figured if anyone's here, they could probably hear it. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Dash Kyrie. Okay. Um. Oh, dude! If Yoshihashi beats Evil, I'm gonna shit a brick. Did he just fucking what? This fucking goddamn Yoshihashi motherfucker! What the fuck did I just watch? That was the weakest fucking slap. I that was the girliest fucking slap I ever seen out of a goddamn wrestler. Jesus H titty fucking Christ. Okay, I'm officially aboard the fuck Yoshihashi train. <laughs> that was shit. <laughs> Maybe it's cuz I'm used to like used to like Suzuki slaps, but that was shit. For a guy who's been here for goddamn how long now? Um, sorry. I just saw Yoshihashi pull off the weakest fucking slap I've ever seen. It looked like something Alexa Bliss would pull out. I think, I think, I think maybe that's where he learned to slap like that. <laughs> Good, evil one. Uh, okay. Dash and Kyrie are upset, and uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I I would uh, I feel like I would a get dinged if I were to show New Japan on my stream, and b New Japan doesn't really do replays often, so it's not like I could show that part again. Uh, oh, man. Why do I always do that, by the way? Oh, my God, I did even worse this time. There we go. Uh, how, about, how about this? Actually, Heyman Hit Squad continue beating Dash and Kyrie. And leave them in the ring laying. There we go. Alright. Yep. Because I think it's been kind of back and forth, so let's just help leave that back and forth. 
Um, so yeah, they're taking some low injury risk because it's nothing big. It's nothing all that big and bad. Um, yeah, they're taking some minor defeats here. This is definitely a decent success because they're going after some some top women. So put that right about there. Uh, Io Ayaka Hamada. Um, yeah, I I at least should have Io out there with uh, Paul Heyman. I don't know if anyone else would come out with them. Um, so let's do entertainment and overness. Let's see. Heyman out with... Whoops. Heyman out with... Oh, my God almighty. Heyman out with EO. Talks are up, but EO seems to be in in a different uh, a different world in her mind oops <clears throat> hashtag not my waifu <laughs> where's the goddamn clap what is this different version of Casanina Ray going on I was gonna say, who's who's hashtag not my waifu? Eo, or somebody else? <laughs> uh, let's do that. All right. Um. Oh, Yoshi. <laughs> oh, Yoshi. That makes sense too. I was I, I didn't know if it was still the New Japan stuff or this stuff. I was gonna say we gonna fight if you start talking shit about EO. I will beat you over the head. I will I will beat you over the head with my photo book of her. I will, I will beat you over the head with my EO Shirai photo book. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Okay. I had to I had to let that at least sit there when that was happening. It's still it's very low, but I mean I wanted to, you know, just make it kind of lower. If I raised it like just a hair. Just a hair. Oh god. This obviously dubbed over music. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot Makabe has like a, a theme they can't play here. I forget what it is, but it's like something something pretty popular. Um, okay, sorry. Yeah, Iyoshirai Ayakahamana. I want to think what was the end game for what I wanted to do here. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Io Shirai, Paul Heyman, Kana, and James Mitchell. All right. So there we go. Mitchell out with Kana. Or stare down with EO as Mitchell and Heyman. Oh, this is going to be fucking brutal. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Mitchell and Heyman. Uh, I, I don't want to say they just like insult one another. Let's say, um, talk up their clients. How about that? So we can do that for, f man, I don't know if five minutes is a good good time to do it. Maybe like four. So this is like decent success on them. Minor success is here. 
helps iron that out. Uh, day one or two. I guess this is probably two, considering it's just going on right now. <laughs> or three. I guess it's three. <laughs> yeah, it's it's live. It's live right now, so. <clears throat> Uh, let me see here. We do need to have, oh, no, no problem. It is odd because it's odd to think at 530 in the morning, there's live wrestling going on. Uh, okay. So we need to, we need to make this work here. Um, so entertainment and entertainment. So there's a little bit I need to work with here. So let's see here. Leva's still in her brace. Says she can't phase Kana. Foley decides he should just book Kana versus Io then. We'll, we'll put that like we'll put that like right there for now. It's uh that's a that's a bit we'll use. We need to put that maybe about there because I think the last bit we'll use. Um. So Kana's there. Leva's out there. Mix there. I feel like I'm about to like flatten the the sort of like show ending deal, but it'll make some sense. So Leva comes out with Foley. It is magically healed and ready to face Kana at Revolution for number one. Ah, we'll just put that then. There we go. <laughs> Surprise, she's healed. Is Foley the blue dot? No, but I will be uh I will be sort of answering that question for you here in a bit. In a bit. Uh we'll do that. Why not? Success. Success. Oh look, she's magically cured. Hey, That'll be the end of that one. All right, so... Oh, no. Oh, God. Makabe and Suzuki are now fucking battling with chairs. And the ref is doing everything he can to get in the middle of them. Which is probably the smart... The, the stupidest of ideas. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Of course. This is, this is going to be... Oh, God damn it. I don't care, antivirus, go away. Okay, so since the Evil League of Evil is out there, um, I feel like we might have to do just a little bit with the Evil League of Evil. So since Dastardly is out there, god damn. Mary Dobson, Doc Gallows, and Helmsley, the creator. The All right. So, uh, I guess we should mostly do it on him. That'll make some sense. Actually, yeah, let's do all of them. That makes some sense. So, here we go. Uh, let's see. Helmsley, the creator. Well, I'll actually just... Helmsley has the gauntlet. Uh, and, oh, should he or should he opt not to? Oh, no. It's just a mess going on. Jesus Christ, he pushed the ref into the guardrails and just completely started destroying them. This is a good match. This is, this is a fun match. I can't I can't wait to see how many young boys just get killed in this match. I feel like despite uh, Suzuki and Makabe beating the shit out of one another, it's going to be the young boys who get hurt the worst. 
Uh, let's see. Looks to hit NYC. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah. And has Lee punch. Uh, which one of them should it be? Uh, let's do Evie with the gauntlet. So, <clears throat> there we go. Selling, I guess a minor defeat. Low injury risk. Pretty low. Uh, you want to work without a script? Sure, why not? That sounds beautiful. And all the way up top there. Are we really going to start with that? Jesus. <clears throat> okay. So since the Evil League of Evil used the gauntlet, obviously Justice Legion has a little bit of things they want to say about that. So Lufisto, Kangaroo Jess. By the way, I hope there are people who have never been here before and are just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> don't know about the, the the lore and when they see some shit like this is just completely like is just completely confused at what's going on <laughs> Justice Legion in their lair have found out the gauntlet was used Uh, let's see. The blue dot paces around. And, uh, I got some room to say what I want. You talk about watching one of your streams live and it's your first time. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I don't know if you've, I don't know if you've seen this. Because this is like months and months of stuff built up. So the idea of like finding out like the blue dot and kangaroo Jess is like. <laughs> uh, okay, so the blue dot paces around. Uh, I don't know if I want to reveal it now or later. Uh, goes into. The secret chamber. Uh, secret room. I'll leave it at that, and I'll just talk it. I'll I'll just talk about it. Uh, I'll uh, I'll discuss it. We'll just uh we'll leave that we'll leave that open. We'll leave it very open right now. Because. <laughs> uh, So, we need to find out maybe just a little bit about what's going on there. Um, let's see. We still got a little bit of time. Good six minutes here of uh, stuff to potentially push. Uh, Candace should be there. Uh, Azumi and Mio. Okay. Let me see. I guess we can still kind of do the Azumi and Mio thing. Uh, I'm trying to think how I can maybe push this into... Because there's, there's a couple stories to tell. But... Damn, Scarlet Bado's debuting for Impact. They're doing James Bond-style dancing Zillowette hype girl vids of her. Perfect! Can't wait. <laughs> I I I I don't know if I should be ashamed in saying that I would be super hyped for that, for all the reasons you would assume I'd be hyped for it. <laughs> By the way, I also looked at like my first my first ever video of this promotion, 
if you see that, it's like 000 promotion TEW 2013 episode one. The first thing you see besides the TEW screen is just a picture of Scarlet Bordeaux. It comes full circle. <sighs> Man, I don't want to leave Leva Corp out in the dark, but I kind of don't need them right now. So, okay, I've got it. I've got it. Uh, Azumi. Mio. Candace. All right. Mio with Azumi. The Ray praises her match at anniversary four. Wants to face her, but Mio insists on Azumi. Uh, because, you know, Mio is, Mio is supposed to be retired, so Tyler's officially revealed he has an obsession with Scarlet Bordeaux. No, not so much. I'm not, like, obsessed with her. I just like her ass. And other things. <laughs> yeah, he did he did used to spam a lot of Scarlet shit in my in when I was on Hitbox. That's why this save is still called Hitbox. <laughs> Uh, should she talk? Probably not. I guess it wouldn't matter that much, but we'll just have her not talk. Mio and Candace can talk. Mio, Mio's fine in that role. Candace is fine in that role too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Yeah, minor success. I'd say minor success because it's like real understands real. Uh, four minutes. There we go. What's the background? Oh yeah, the live live uh, G one going on. <laughs> uh, yeah. We could do we could do that, and then I still have two minutes for something else. Um. Shida, Athena, Nakajima, Rush. Uh, I guess Nakajima's kind of going to be out there with Hamada, so that doesn't really matter too much. Um, Shida, I guess. There's also Athena, Courtney, Rush. Uh, we could do that. How about... Uh, let's see. Athena... Courtney Rush, uh, maybe like entertainment there. We can make it a minor. Uh, vignette promoting. Whoops. Neva Corp is played in a recruitment style video. I guess, well, no. It'll just be Athena and Courtney Rush. And just two minutes on that. Just a couple minutes. It helps It helps give them a little bit of something. So we'll do that. Push this on up to probably about there. That, that's perfect. All right, cool. We're almost two and a half hours in. I'm ready to just hit this button and go. Jesus. Okay, starting off immediately. The MYC versus the Evil League of Evil. They are here. A 61 is actually pretty good for the both of them. Dastardly and Mary Dobson. No chemistry. I got to do something about that. I don't know what. Because they're already very much bound to one another in, in this story. I can't just up and decide to change partners at this point. Is Makabe going to beat him? Oh, shit. Makabe beat Suzuki. Oh, damn. Are you, that's a surprise. Yeah, that's got to be that's got to be a fucked bracket. I I'm, I'm I'm imagining a lot of people didn't think Makabe was going to be Suzuki. <laughs> uh so yeah. Dastardly and uh, and uh, Mary Dobson get the win. The Evil League of Evil getting the win over the MYC. 
and uh, immediately this summons uh, Doc Gallows and Helmsley, the creator, who uh, has the gauntlet with him. Helmsley uh, takes the gauntlet and instead uh, hands it, hands it to uh, to Dastardly. I just realized that's fucking loud in in comparison to everything else. <laughs> And uh, Helmsy, the creator, uh, hands the gauntlet to Dastardly, who then uses the gauntlet to punch Evie. And uh, she goes down in a heap. Uh, Kaylee Ray is uh, horrified at that and, uh, and uh, is eventually taken care of by EMTs as uh, Helmsley, uh, Helmsley uh, cuts a promo about taking over the world. And uh, is is telling them that the they are aiming for the Justice Legion. <clears throat> what am I booking? I am booking breakouts. Uh, so we're I am just trying to get through breakout so I can call it a day. <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a lot of confusion to be honest. The uh, the Justice Legion Evil League of Evil rivalry is a very very confusing thing. <laughs> uh, Leva still in her back and neck braces is uh, talking to Mick, and uh, Mick Mick once again asking her. He's he basically asked her if he, she's sure she's unable to face Kana because he wants to have a number one contendership match at Revolution. Uh, he wants to have Leva and Kana. Uh, face one another, and uh, Kana, you know, or, uh, Leva saying no, she can't physically handle it, you know, because Kana attacked her, and you know, mentions that maybe she should be punished for it, and uh, that, yeah, breakouts just for the female wrestlers, which has actually worked swimmingly for people like Io and Kana and Dash, and and it's 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 probably what's gotten so many of them as uh, fairly over at this point. Because it was a uh, rough going for the first like few months I was doing this. Uh, I do have Tony Storm in my uh, in my um, what's what's the word my developmental promotion, and uh, oh my god he's got a fuck him T-shirt. Jesus Christ I want that. <laughs> so either way uh, Mick Foley decides okay if Leva Bates is unable to fight she can't she can't face Kana at Revolution then. Uh, he's just gonna go ahead and uh, get Kana versus EO booked because that was what originally was supposed to be at Damnation. So we'll have it for Revolution, and uh, Leva Bates uh, starts freaking out at the idea of that, and uh, she 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 does not want she does not want that to happen. She kind of starts like uh, starts stopping Mick, and uh, that's that's about it right there. <laughs> It was going to be Orange is the New Grap, so I think I might have forgotten that. There we go. Uh, Mio is uh, in the back with Azumi, and uh, she's kind of, uh, you know, mentoring her a little bit more. And uh, Candice LeRae gets both of them and uh, praises Mio. She says uh, it had been a few weeks since she had been able to see uh, what Mia was capable of doing at Anniversary. She said she's been meaning to talk to her for quite a while and uh, praised her work. Uh, that's a new Okada theme. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> it really is like heel Okada theme, it feels like. It's really a different thing. But uh, yeah, Candice LeRae praises her for the uh, the tag team match that she was uh, that she was in, and uh, she says, "Man, if I could just get in the ring with you, that would be a phenomenal match." And I think it, we would do magic in the ring together. Mio uh, reminds her it was kind of a special thing, and uh, and uh, you know says she's retired, but she insists that if she does want to face somebody. She should face uh, Azumi. You know, if they're gonna have a match, face Azumi. That's 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 my protege. If there's gonna be someone underneath of me uh, to carry on my legacy, uh, Azumi would be the one to uh, to uh, face in that regard. 
So uh, we'll see. In fact, I should probably pre-book that because I'm going to forget it. Because it's not going to happen this week, but it's definitely going to happen. Azumi versus Candice LeRae. There we go. Perhaps we'll see that next week. <clears throat> cool. And we get to Mayu Iwatani versus Ashley Flair. A superb match for nearly 18 minutes because for some reason in this version, Mayu Iwatani has just been losing all sorts of stamina. Just not able to physically do it. Uh, ends up tapping out to a figure eight after uh, Ashley Flair... And uh, the rest of Revolution did some cheating. Perhaps uh, perhaps uh, it says Brittany Knight distracted her, so I'm thinking maybe, you know, a fireball, flash powder. Uh, powder. Powder isn't used that much anymore. Or a fireball. Let's go with fireball. Fireball is a very old school southern wrestling thing. Let's bring that back. So let's, let's say that Ashley Flair knocks Mayu towards the ropes, which prompts Brittany Knight to shoot a fireball in her eyes. And that allows Ashley Flair to lock in the figure eight and forces her to tap out. At least it's as screwed as Dragon Gate is at the moment. Oh, is Dragon Gate going on right now? Oh, Dragon Gate's suffering. Oh yeah. I haven't I haven't really watched a ton of it, but I don't know. I didn't I didn't even know that Speedstar beat Mochi for the belt until maybe like a few days after. I like how Okada has just become like a sh like just kind of a borderline shithead. I love it. Yeah, Chima Chima taking like the future of Dragon Gate and just going to China with them probably isn't helping. <laughs> uh, so Bayou and Heyman are not happy about this. Of course, Okada Fale match has always been pretty good. Uh, so Mayu and Heyman are uh, clearly upset over the cheating that has happened, and uh, it seems as though Flair, Knox, and Knight seem to have uh, seem to have uh, understood the the idea that uh, oh god, is he going to take a dive? They've understood the idea that perhaps cheating is a uh, a good idea. Are we? Okay, this Okada is uh, quite interesting to say the least. This is uh, this is interesting. <laughs> so I want to try to get through this. So uh, yeah, the 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 revolution uh, after you know, I don't know why I stuttered so much right there. They've been kind of exposed to cheating through Shimmer and Shine and uh, and uh, Leva Corp and some of the other uh, teams. And uh, they decide, you know what, this uh, this cheating thing is not uh, not the worst thing in the world. It seemed to have actually changed uh, how how their uh, their uh, fortunes have gone because they've been having a lot of losing happening, and uh, you know, finally getting a nice win here with Ashley Flair and against someone who's a former two-time women's champion uh, like Mayu Iwatani, one of two only two uh, two-time women's champions. Uh, it's it's a pretty big win, and uh, you know maybe this isn't uh, maybe this isn't so bad. So anything to get a win. Uh, we get a bit of a Leva Court promotion, uh, promotional video. I'd say perhaps maybe in like an old school, almost Fallout style, like uh, 50s style thing, featuring Athena and Courtney Rush, because you know we're not having them there. But hey. We want to continue the idea that Leva Corp is still around and still a threat, and uh, perhaps also recruiting. We'll see. Uh, but just a little promotional video showcasing Leva Corp. <clears throat> and uh, we get Dash and Kyrie. Uh, they're looking forward to potentially getting a tag title match. They weren't really expecting to do well. Like they, they, they both are uh, singles wrestlers with their own common enemy and uh, sort of inadvertently made them uh, a tag team and now they have a shot at potentially at the tag team titles uh, if they beat Shimmer and Shine but uh, they still say that even if this happens this is just a small detour uh, and and uh, side route to eventually still go after the Heyman hit squad because that's where it truly sits is to end the Heyman hit squad because that has been 
uh, the that has been the enemy for them at this point. So we get Dash and Kyrie versus Shimmer and Shine, who for some reason uh, kind of fell flat. Uh, it might be the Nicole Matthews Parsha Perez thing, which I don't know why it doesn't work. But uh, 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 maybe I need, do need to get at least Porsche Perez away from Matthews. I don't know. I still need to b make sure they're booked as like actual friends. That might be it, because for some reason in their relationship it wasn't showcased as that. Who knows? Either way, Shimmer and Shine getting the win over Dash and Kyrie uh, after a bit of cheating. When uh, Heyman Hit Squad hit the ring and uh, and uh, uh, Maki uh, distracts the ref while Ray and Miu uh, attack Dash and Kyrie, just enough to uh, to uh, keep them down, and uh, Eagles and Matthews could get the win. So we have that at least in the books. Uh, at some point, uh, it, it was announced. I, I guess I'll put it here. It, it was not officially announced that it's going to happen at Revolution. Uh, in fact, if I can find it, it's actually we're going to. That is actually the first official match booked for Hawkeye Pro Wrestling Infamous, the Doy Darts Holiday Special. Uh, it's it's been kind of shown they might not exactly have the room to do it right then and there. But uh, they're going to give them a few weeks to get this together as the Reynas will defend the Hawkeye Pro Women's Tag Team Championship against Shimmer and Shine. So we get our first official match booked for the Doy Darts Holiday Special. Uh, there we go. Hawkeye Pro Women's Tag. Whoops, there we go. Boom. All right. Taken care of. So there you go. Nicole Matthews, the weak link. Dash Chisako carrying the match. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, so this leads to uh, the Heyman Hit Squad continuing their beatdown on Dash and Kyrie. Uh, leave them in the ring laying. And uh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's not the main event. That's right. I was sitting there worried. I'm like, eh, that was kind of a subpar main event. And I realized, oh yeah, we have the Io Shirai match still because we still have our, we still have our women's title match, which I didn't even like, just sort of randomly happened. That's a very WWE esque thing. There's no reason for Hamada to have a title match. She just does. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Heyman Hit Squad beat down and leave it Dash and Kyrie laying in the ring uh, and uh, just sort of leave them there. Uh, we go to an undisclosed location in, uh, in uh, the Justice Legion's uh, lair. They're in there and they have found out the news that the gauntlet has once again been used uh, by the Evil League of Evil. And they find out it was used on Evie, and uh, they they're extremely nervous to know that once again that gauntlet has claimed another victim. Uh, there's a lot of talk about potentially talking to uh, Breakouts Commissioner Mick Foley about uh, trying to get possession of the gauntlet because it seems like Evil League of Evil they they can't be they can't be uh, brought in they can't just be be rung in by rules they don't follow the rules. And uh, so they need another way to uh, to get the gauntlet. And uh, this prompts the blue dot to sort of uh, walk away from them. And uh, he seems to, to sneak his way into a, uh, uh, a secret room in the Justice Legion lair. And uh, walks into like this darkened room with a, a spotlight. And uh, you don't see what he's looking at, but he seems to be looking at something with a, a bit of determination in his eyes. We're not sure what he's looking at, but the blue dot definitely has some sort of idea that he's keeping secret from the rest of the Justice Legion. So we'll see perhaps what that could be in the future. Uh, Heyman. Heyman is uh, out with uh, Io Shirai. Uh, this isn't. Yeah, I wish I, I should. I should be much smarter and put Mask Io in because I've been using that for the promotional stuff. 
Uh, I did use that for like her her other pay per view match at Damnation. But uh, Paul Heyman out with Io Shirai talks her up. Uh, Io seems to be in another world though. She doesn't seem to be listening. She seems to be focusing on something else. And uh, Heyman is a little awkward about that, but nonetheless, yep. <laughs> Yeah, Okada's looking a bit like Nakamura. But either way, random women's title match leads to a 93 between Io Shirai and Ayako Hamada. Io Shirai defending the belt in just a little over 20 minutes, hits the moonsault press, and makes her fourth official defense of the Hawkeye Pro Women's Championship, uh, which is good because she probably won't be defending it uh, right away. Uh, it seems like perhaps... Uh, Maybe she was going to defend it at Revolution, but uh, they seem to do uh, Io and Kana staring down one another uh, while Paul Heyman and uh, James Mitchell kind of hype up their clients and, uh, you know, talk about who's actually better. And uh, while they're doing that, uh, Kana comes out, or not Kana, Leva Bates comes out. She doesn't seem to have her neck or back braces anymore. Uh, perhaps has been magically healed. She's out with Commissioner Foley and uh, once again wants to make sure that Mick Foley does want to still book that Kana Leva Bates match at uh, Revolution, which uh, he still does. And uh, he looks a little sideways, kind of knew that that was going to happen. But uh, once again, makes it official as Kana will face Leva Bates at Revolution. There we go, and it is for whoops, number one contendership to the Hawkeye Pro Women's Championship. The winner of this match will face, uh, as we now know since she beat Hamada, Io Shirai at final fight. It will either be Io versus Kana or Io versus Leva Bates for the women's title. Cool. We have a good four matches set up. We still have a few more we need to have set up at some point. Things are still sort of only barely penciled in. But that is the show, 88. I will take it. Jesus Christ, it's been over two and a half hours because I've been too busy switching between this and talking about wrestling and having New Japan on in the background. This is what's probably killing my concentration. Ugh. Oh look, Greenmaker! Now I can now I can kind of watch now that we're doing loading now that we're doing loading screens. This is this is a very he's kind of back to cocky Okada, sort of. Oh, boy. Ah uh, no. Evie seems to be manipulating the locker room against at Madison Eagles. Portia Perez now has shimmering is shimmering. Simmering tension with Madison Eagles. <sighs> Brittany Knight now has simmering tension with Madison Eagles. Codename Ray now has simmering tension with Madison Eagles. And Kaylee Ray now has simmering tension with Madison Eagles. This, this now means that Evie is the Shawn Michaels of my locker room. Oh shit, Tama Tonga gun stunned Okada. Uh, let me see my backstage real quick. Come on. Where where's my backstage? There's my backstage. Uh Damn, I literally okay. Man, okay, I'm going to go a couple of days here. I'm going to think about it. So Is he gonna beat Okada? That makes that would make some sense. Oh Jesus! That's a fall. Damn, son. There you go. Fale beating Okada. Uh, 
anything, anyone coming in? Oh, Mark Sherman threw up an interesting tidbit. He revealed he suffers from pre-match nerves. And the worse, they get worse the more he's getting pushed at the time. Explains quite a bit. Oh, no, Nick Mitchell's retiring. I don't think there's any reason for me to even consider bringing him in. <laughs> there's just no reason. I mean, I used him. That's it. Oh, no. Yosuke Santa Maria has a class one fractured larynx. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Yosuke Santa Maria ain't going to be so cute when he's talking like Hanma. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, how cute is Yosuke Santa Maria going to be? <laughs> it's just. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that sucks, David. Oh, man. Right. Let's see here. Christopher Daniels assigned a written deal with Dragon Gate. All right. Well, it looks like I don't. That's all right. I wasn't. I didn't want to spend too much on him anyway, so it makes sense. Oh, God. I mean, you don't have Kachi. Uh, let's look at pay rise requests for Mary Dobson first. She wants uh, about 1300 a month. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Cool. Violent J, complete the contract. I know Paul Heyman's not going to be too happy about this. Wow, a lot of people. Uh, he needs a position on the roster, which I'm guessing is just going to be like a personality. What are they suggesting? Maybe not a color commentator. Let's make him a personality. Uh, I don't think he's... Is his alter ego in here? It is already. I don't even have to deal with it. He's already in here as Violent J, attorney at law. I'll just have to cut up a new picture at some point. And his gimmick. Where is that? Lawyer, let's see here. Uh, gimmicky gimmick. Uh, let me see here. Is there anything slightly better? Probably not. Uh, this is probably... It's probably the best one if he's gimmicky. So we'll do that one. <laughs> but he's still got the paint on. That's the idea. Is that he shows up in a suit and tie, but he still has the paint on. There you go. We will see ourselves the Time Splitter's attorney. God damn it, nearly three hours. What have I been doing? You know, I honestly, I, I really wish I would have uh, had the, uh, the, 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 where I really did do this throughout pretty much the entire show. I meant to be done probably long before that Okada Fale match, and here I am at the main event. Jesus Christ. Uh, let me see here. Anything, anything. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything cool. I'm going to go ahead and save this, and uh, there you go. So week four is where we are here. Can you see who's in the other promotions and my promotion? How about I do that after I get done recording? I can do that maybe after I'm done recording. So at least the YouTube video, uh, you know, which is already two hours and 48 minutes long, uh, doesn't hit three hours. So you know what? I might as well stick on uh, the streaming for this match because why not? I don't know. I'll put something in the. I'll, I'll I'll maybe look at. I'll look through this in the background while we're looking at the match. Who knows? Uh, but either way, there you go. That is week three. We have the go home week to Revolution. We only got about four matches booked, but yeah, that seems about par for the course. There's going to be other stuff booked definitely um, coming up in this next week. But, uh, yeah, I'll stick around with you guys here since, I mean, I've already stuck around this long. Why the fuck not? Uh, so we'll do that. But if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I'm sorry. I have the attention span of a gnat and uh, just couldn't seem to book and watch this at the same time. <laughs> I thought I usually do a good job, but things have been kind of interesting. So that's really on me there. So, uh, yeah. I will, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take that one, but, uh, thank you very much and I will see you next time.